Hello everyone, it's Amy and welcome back for week nine of the new Build Your Stash and Craft. In this series, we are building up our craft supplies to be able to craft with, with only spending $7.50 each week. Whatever we don't spend during those weeks, we set aside to save up for something later. So for this week, we purchased some um, packing tape and all of these items came from the Dollar Tree. Um, and then we picked up some rubber gloves, which we're not going to use this week, um, but we will need them later on. So we picked those up because they had them and we had a little extra money. Um, permanent markers, and they do need to be permanent markers. And then parchment paper. You can get the parchment paper either like this in sheets. That's all my Dollar Tree had. But if you want to get it on a roll, you can also get it on a roll. Either way is just fine. So that was what we got for this week. And um, we spent $5 this week. So during this week, we put $2.50 in our bank. And what we are going to make is DIY stickers. And... DIY film strips and DIY clear washi tape, faux washi tape. So I, um, when I was younger, I got a kit from my parents for Christmas one year and it came with, it didn't say it was packing tape, it was supposed to be something so special, but it came with packing tape in little squares that you, it said to put it on a magazine on a picture and then cut around it, put it in some warm water and rub off the, the paper off the back. And then there was a little film, um, little slide covers that you would put the picture in there, shut the slide and it had a little slide machine so you could watch it on the wall. And um, so basically that's what we're doing now except we're not making slides. And then, um, oh, I don't know, a few years ago, I found this at the craft outlet, and I actually purchased it as a reminder to remind me, but this is just, looks like a film reel. Now this is heavier plastic than what we're gonna do, but this is also not sticky on the back, and what we're gonna do is gonna be sticky on the back, which I really like, because then we can put it on our project. So we're gonna make one of these, and we're gonna make some stickers, and then I was watching um, I watch in the evenings on my TV, so I don't get to comment. And um, But I was watching Gail Agostinelli and Rachel from Roxy Creations. And Rachel made clear faux washi tape. And um, but, but they put things on there, and I watched Gail too, and I even think I saw somebody else. But they were putting things on there in areas that were solid. Um, so it wasn't completely clear. But the second I heard them say clear washi tape, this came to mind. So here we have clear washi tape. All of this section here is done out of the dictionary. Then we have um, this part here. I put dictionary bits all over. But we have this came from an AARP magazine. And this came from... Um, our county lines which is a magazine we get from our electric company once a month and then this came out of a western catalog so i tried different things to see how it all worked and now it's on the parchment paper so that you know parchment paper will release um you know because it is like a sticker so here it is before you put it on your project it is truly see-through and I just think it is so awesome. I'm so glad that they they did that. This is not exactly what they did. They were using tracing paper and stuff but it is what popped the idea into my head to make our own clear faux washi tape and I love the way this turned out. So let's get started. Um, so the first thing you're going to need is something that you want to make a sticker out of. You know, something that if you say, oh, I would like a sticker that looks like that. So let's just, I'm going to put this stuff aside. Um, in, in addition to what we purchased, we're going to need some kind of books or magazines. I've even used kids books before to make kids stickers. Um, you know, whatever it may be. Um, but magazines work well. Here is where I got that 
yellow circle out of and you know it's a cool yellow circle you might know it's soup and now you know it's soup but it actually just looks like a really cool mixed media piece so um you know think about what it's going to look like when you make it smaller and these are all square but they could be made um you can cut them out round after you after you make them and it would be just as easy so let's just to make it super simple let's make a sticker that has the z's on so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut oh i didn't bring my scissors out here uh -oh. okay i am going to use my own scissors I usually only use what is in the series, but I don't want to have to stop and start over. All right, so I'm just going to, I like to, when I'm done, I find that this doesn't work very well, so I like to stick something, a piece of paper on the end of my tape. All right, now I'm just gonna take these and I'm gonna put them right here, or my tape, I'm gonna put it here, rub it really well get it rubbed down real well, and then I'm just going to cut that off. Now, I have a little extra up here, and I have a little extra down here. Um, I don't have to have my sticker be that, you know, that size. I'm gonna cut up along this edge, and then cut across here, and then down, and then cut that. Maybe I want that little bit of blue strip on the bottom, so I think I'm gonna leave it on there just like that. Then you're gonna take this, and you're going to need something to have some water and i just have a really old cake pan here and um but you can even stick it in a bowl even with the longer ones whoops sorry didn't even show you so then you're just going to take that and put it upside down it doesn't really matter which way you put it but just put it in your water and set it aside to set for just a few minutes it doesn't take very long at all you know as a matter of fact you know like I could probably start rubbing on it right now. So what you're doing is you're having your sticker side down, your, your tape side down, your magazine side up, or book page or whatever it may be, and then you're just rubbing back and forth a little bit. Rub lightly, um, and you know once it gets started and you get down to, see we can already see a few Zs right there. Um, once you get down to the picture that you actually chose, then at that point you want to be careful with how hard you rub because you don't want to rub that ink off your tape and that's what happened when you do this the ink sticks to the tape but when the paper gets wet the paper comes off and you can always like before you make a really long film strip or something test the book or the magazine or whatever it is that you're using to make sure that it works well um, i thought that the dictionary would work the best and the reason being because, you know, it's older paper and stuff and softer paper, not shiny paper. And actually the magazines work better. So not that the dictionary doesn't work, but, and so there we go. Let me grab a piece of paper here. There's our sticker. Just that quick. And I really should not have set that. Uh, look, I shouldn't have set it on the paper because... I just peeled off some paper. That's why we have the parchment. So I'm going to put that back in the water and get that paper off of there. And then we're gonna take it and stick it on our parchment paper. So there is how you can make a sticker. And like I said, if you wanna cut it round, if you, you, know, you wanna cut it out, if it's the shape of a heart or something and you wanna cut it in the shape of a heart, you can definitely do that. So I'm just going to slide this back out of the way. So in order to make the film strips, what I try and do, and I kind of forgot about the film strips. I was so excited about making the faux washi tape that I didn't cut my pictures the same size. But with the film strips, you know, it may be nicer to have each one of your pictures the same size. So, you know, you'll just go ahead and find something. And you could even do like a picture where, let's do this right here. Now let's, let's find something that actually looks better that we might use in the future. 
um, you could find a picture and go all the way across so that it looks like it is an actual film. Parts of the film. I don't know if I chose anything that, okay, I'm gonna go right here. I'm gonna take this out. Cause we got a lot of pretty colors and stuff in here and a cute little puppy if I don't rip it. Trying to rip two pages, that's why. Okay, so I'm going to choose this strip right here to make my film reel with. So I'm just going to take my tape and put it where I want it. Just like that. Give it a good press and make sure it goes all the way to the other side. Uh-oh, did I lose my tape? Oh, thank goodness I cut, uh-oh. We lost the tape, that's not a good thing. But this is pretty nice tape, so it usually does pretty good of being able to get it off of here. There we go. Stick that on there. And yes, it's it does waste a little bit of tape, but to me, it is a big time saver, so the exchange is worth it. Now I'm just going to cut right across the bottom of my tape. And I don't want this green on the end. And then I'm going to cut across the top of my tape. this nice and straight. Alrighty, so there we go. Now we want to burnish this down really well. Burnish just means push it down really well. Rub it down, making sure that that tape, like there is a big bubble right here. There is a bubble. I don't know if you can see it or not, but we definitely don't want that bubble in our tape. So we're going to do our best to kind of rub it out. You can use your scissors to kind of rub down on the tape. There's another little bubble there, so I'm just going to kind of press on that. Um, in one of them that I made, I had a big wrinkle. It went all the way down, but I just burnished it really well on top of that wrinkle. The wrinkle was still there, but it did still bring the color out of the magazine, and it looked good. So, all right, so there we go. That's burnished down really well. I'm going to stick that in the water, and I'm going to let that sit for a minute. These are kind of heavy pages but we're gonna let that sit so that we can do one more before we're done. Cause I wanted to, I do have one that's very, I'm gonna love. And so this is just a catalog. And in the catalog, there were pages with halters on them. And so I cut one of the pages out. So I now have all of these little stickers and so we're going to take the tape and lay it sticky side up. And then if you have a roll of parchment, you can make it as long as you want it. But if you just have a box of the parchment, you know, like if it's coming in sheets, maybe if you try and make your tape not longer than the parchment so that... Um, when you have to put it on the parchment paper, the parchment paper is long enough to hold it. But if not, you just can cut another piece of parchment and put it on there. So I am just going to take these and put them in a line until I get to the top of my tape. Now I am having a hard time Ooh, that's bad. I came right off the side of my tape. I wasn't paying attention to exactly where my tape was. I'm going to come up here and start at the top. I'm still very close to this edge, but that's okay. 
as long as it's on the tape. And then make sure before you go to set your picture down that your tape is nice and flat. And just line them up on the tape. So we're just gonna line up those three because this is a magazine. Well, it's actually a catalog, which is even thinner than a magazine. So, um, there's no way that I'm gonna be able to peel this piece off and, and put it back on again because it's only half on the tape and half off. So that's one thing to remember. Watch for um, where the edge of your tape is. And you can kind of see it shine, and so that helps. But, so this one is a little over to the edge. It might not be very good, but I'm gonna cut it right here. And I'm gonna cut this one right here, and I'm gonna make this one into just a sticker. So there we go. Now that one's gonna be a sticker, and I'm gonna stick that in the water. This one, the horse's head is too far off the side. Part of his face is off, so I don't wanna do that one. And then I'm just gonna take this one, making sure that I press those all down really well. You wanna make sure that the ink on the front of that page is touching everywhere on your tape. This one I can tell has a, a crinkle in it. Oh yeah, see how creased that is? But we are going to, I'm gonna put it on parchment paper so I don't stick it to my mat here. And I am just going to rub those creases down as hard as I can. And even if they stay there, hoping that they come into contact with the paint on that paper or the ink on the paper and still pick it up and that it still looks okay. So just because you get a little bit of a crinkle, it doesn't hurt to go ahead and try and burnish it really well and then put it in the water. It just takes you a few minutes. So if it turns out good, um, it was worth your time. If it turns out bad, then you just get rid of it or use only part of it, depending on what it looks like. So, and then, you know, I'll save those for later. You can just be very random like here. I put down some pictures and then it was like, there's too big of a gap there. So I just ripped parts of my dictionary page and just stuck those on there. So let's grab the dictionary up here and we'll do a little piece with this. out and then just find now when I did the pictures a lot of them they have the name in the dictionary right either above or below the picture so a lot of times I left that there but I liked my picture to be alone I didn't want to take any of the words around it and um, I just kind of peeled off the excess paper because that's just that much less that you have to try and get off later. So we're just going to put him right there and then see if we can find... Oh, another fun thing is to... Just pull this out of here. To take the letters from the dictionary. That's fun. As an actual little focal point on your full washi. And so we'll just stick that on there. And the page numbers are fun to use. And again, the more of the excess paper you take off, the less paper you have to rub off later. So that's really tiny, but it's still just fun to have on there. Okay, so here is a, not sure I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> Can't read it. <laughs> Trying. Okay, so it looks like some kind of an axe or a, a sword or something. 
So we're just gonna come up here, and this is gonna work out actually perfectly for what I've got there because when I put that number on there and that letter on there, um, there's kind of a very small gap between them. So the point of that will fit right up there. So that's very cool. You can use just the words in the dictionary. You can use the whole definition if you want to. Let's see if we can find a couple more pictures. Ooh, there's a horse. Here's a lady in a hoop skirt. So we're gonna put her on there. And I, they don't have to be, let's put that horse on there too and then we'll finish it up. Um, they don't have to all be straight in the same direction because you never know when you're gonna use this tape, you never know exactly what, what direction, sorry for all the crinkling, you know, I, I know that that bothers some people. It doesn't, I love the sound of paper. So I don't really think about it when I'm doing that. I love the way it sounds when it rips. I love the way it sounds when it crinkles. It just, I really like paper. I have ever since I was a little kid. So I apologize if that was bothering you. You can always turn it down if you have somebody that's making too much noise. Just turn it down a little bit for a while. And need a little bit more tape to fit it. And I'm gonna put it right there. Okay, so now we have this and we have all those blank spaces. So now I can do whatever it is that I want to fill those blank spaces. I really do like the way that the dictionary page looks to fill in the blank spots. And so that's what we'll do here so that you can see what it looks like. Makes it easier to burnish also. And I don't like the white parts because they really are not gonna show up. So we just want the lettering of the dictionary page and just put it on there to cover up your tape. And again, don't worry about which way the words are facing. You want them to face all different ways because they're not there for a purpose other than to give you a background. So they're not there to be read or anything like that. And so you don't have to make sure that they're straight up and down. And if you don't fill every little spot, that's totally fine too. That does just give you kind of a little bit of a gap, which works well. So maybe just a little bit up here. And all these little bits that are extra, um, you can use them for clusters later on. You don't have to throw them away. I have a little extra box where I keep my little bits in. And some of them are just so small, I just want to throw them away. Okay, so let me close this up. And this is what it looks like. So we're going to stick that in the water. And then we're going to, oh, this one, look. That whole back piece came off all on its own. That's, that's pretty awesome. That's really awesome. So that was a variety magazine. And I don't know why I get it. Somebody sends it. Um, but, but the one thing about that is, We'll wait till it dries. This is not, this does not feel sticky. But if it's not sticky, we glue it on. So, you know, there's always a fix for everything. Okay, so I'm gonna set that aside for just a second while we go ahead and try our see-through washi.
I'm going to do the one that has the crinkle in it so that you we can see if that turned out or not. And as you do this, it will start, you know, it just kind of like rolls up underneath your finger. The paper does. And so, but when you take it out and let it dry, sometimes you will see the white, still you'll see white paper pulp on the back. You can put it right back in your water later on. And just go ahead and concentrate on those spots and rub that little bit of paper off. And then when you're done, make sure that you strain this water. Don't dump these down your sink. And um, otherwise you can very easily clog it up with stuff like this. And I do talk a lot about not dumping certain things down your sink. And the reason I do that is because um, <laughs> I've been an artist all of my life and I learned the hard way that the more stuff that you dump down your sink that really isn't supposed to be dumped down there, the more often you have to call the plumber to come and stop it. Okay, so let's give this one a look. Looks really good. Let's grab our, put down our parchment here. Alrighty, so there's that one and that one. This is the one that had the crinkles in it. The crease was right there because I can still feel it. And if you look really closely, you can kind of see it, but you really can't. It, it did not affect our picture. So if you do get a crease in there, just try and burnish it down onto the magazine as well as you can and it should hopefully pick up that color and you'll be good to go. <laughs> Alrighty, so the last one was the one that we made into a, a sticker because I didn't put it on the tape correctly. Oh, actually our last one is on a dictionary page. So, and I think We'll see, we'll see how soft that is yet. Um, you don't have to wait a long time, but to me, I find it a whole lot easier if I wait a little bit. And if I'm busy getting other parts ready, you know, the wait's not hard at all. So there we go. There's our horse sticker. And... All right, let's see. Um, well, it is coming off. Let me see. We're gonna take it out of there because it's hard to see. See, it is coming off. But I think maybe if we let it sit for just another minute, let's let that sit for a second and do the film roll. Oh no, I stuck it on regular paper. Okay. Oh, I had it set upside down. All right, so here is our sticker. Now, it kind of feels like that ink completely took over the stickiness of our, um, our tape. So even though that magazine works great for releasing the backing, um, if it takes all the stickiness away, although this one that I bought has no sticky on it either, so. Alrighty, so to make that, all we're gonna do, and it's so simple, take our black permanent marker, chose a color that's a little dark for this, but those are dark. Um, and then just line it up maybe like an eighth of an inch. From the top or a sixteenth. You don't need a whole lot. 
So line it up and and that's why you need a permanent marker because a watercolor marker or any other type of marker is not gonna write on this plastic. Okay, so I just like colored in that little bit that was up there. Now I'm going to leave a gap so that we're gonna have a gap of color and my next line is going to be right here against my ruler but there will be a little gap between the two lines. And I may have left too big of a gap, but that's okay. And then we're gonna do the same thing at the bottom. Color a line across the bottom. See, I'm not even on the tape there. And you just want to cover it up all the way to the edge of the tape there. That you want it to all be black from your line out to the edge on that side. On the outside. And then we're just going to put another line here. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to go from one line to the next. Color in a heavy black line leave a space color in a heavy black line leave a space and I'm gonna do this very quickly you can do it a little more evenly if you take your time but it seriously really doesn't take long at all and so I'm gonna do that all the way across the top and the bottom and I do kind of try and watch like where they are and line them up. I'm trying to think maybe the last time I made them, maybe I did it like this. But I really doubt it because I'm a little lazier than that. But you could to make sure that you have them in the same spot up and down. And I think I'm even missing. I think I missed some on the bottom. And then every so often, we'll start at the beginning. I'm gonna put a solid line up and down right at the beginning. And then let's say, now to make it look kind of like a film strip, <coughs> excuse me, you're gonna want them to, you're gonna want each section to be about the same size. So the one thing I wanna do is make sure that I don't go through the puppy's face. So if I do one and a half inches, one and a half inches will probably be okay. So I am going to, how am I gonna do this? Okay, one and a half inches is here, then three, four and a half, six, seven and a half, okay, and then the end. So then we're just going to line this up. And really it'd be better to probably put a mark at the top and the bottom. I'm just kind of looking over here, hoping that I've got it pretty straight. Final bit. There. Okay, and we could make those maybe just even a little bit wider. And then finish our little, these are the little bits that like catch in the reel to make the um, film go round. But I think these are fun and you can make them as long as you want. 
or even as short as you want. Or if you have the little slide covers, I have a bunch of those. I got it a garage sale once. I should pull them out and make some because this would be real fun to put in there also. And the darker they are, um, the darker your picture, the less easy it is to see on just uh, when it's not on a background. There we go. Alrighty. So now that looks a little bit messy, but oh, it does have some stick to it. There. Isn't that just the cutest thing? I really like it. And I like how it is all one picture like that. So that's fun. You could do something like that if you're doing, you know, a, a piece of art and you want it to go all the way across whatever you're, whatever you're putting it on, and you know, a mixed media piece or whatever. You make it as long just to fit there. So I think that that is really cool. I'm really happy with that. And then let's get a... See if we can get a quick look at, and I'm not going to wind up with all the white off the back of this. Um, hopefully, I'll wind up with basically all the paper, um, if it doesn't take too long, but, um, but not all of the pulp. I'll, I, but I will go back in later and do that. So, because you, you know, it just, it makes it look better if it doesn't have, when that white dries, when the pulp dries... When you first take it out, it looks, hold on a second, I'm going to turn one of these other ones over, the horses and stuff, because they're wet. I'm going to turn it over so that the back can dry, because it's not going to dry that well in the parchment, and then show you what it looks like. Um, when you first take it out, a lot of times, the it looks like you've got all the paper off of it. And then it dries and all of a sudden you've got all these white spots on the back. And you know, the first time you do it, you might be disappointed. So I wanted to let you know it will be there. Um, because you don't wanna rub it too, too hard when you're first getting it started and rub off your picture. That's another thing that will really disappoint you. And that one is very disappointing because if you rub off part of your picture, you can't put it back. Um, unless you have another magazine that is exactly the same. So, and when your water gets really bad like this, you can always just strain it and get some nice clean water. But all I'm doing is just rubbing the tape wherever I feel paper and just rub back and forth. And in a second, when I kind of feel like I think I've got most of it, then we'll pick it up and see if I actually did or not. And actually, I'm doing this very fast because it's on the video, but if you just sit down and you have some nice warm water, um, you know, and you just, you know, just like take your time. It's very like tactile and it actually, it's kind of relaxing. <coughs> Excuse me. So, this is what we have so far. It doesn't look too bad, but we do still have quite a bit on the back. And this we can get, you know, kind of like right now. And it will kind of look like we got it all. And I don't think the others are going to dry really quick enough to show you the difference. But so there we go. It's coming along very well. And it is, it, it's a little hard to see when I just hold it up to the camera. But you can always see it much, much better when you put it on the parchment. And then normally I do 
um, and I should not have done that. I just scratched off part of the words that I had there. This is not a job to do fast or, or hard. Just, you know, rub back and forth. You can feel that paper rolling up under your finger and, you know, and then when you don't feel anymore, just move on to the next spot. As you're getting kind of done, you can just kind of rub your finger over it and feel like, oh, there's a spot where I can feel some paper, so. And there is quite a bit of mess in here, so some of that's getting underneath my hand and making me not know exactly how it's coming. But just kind of try and give it a good rinse off. And then um, when, I, when I think that I've got it, a lot of times I will rinse it underneath um, under a I'm gonna draw the I'm gonna dry the one side off on my t-shirt but there we go there is our see-through washi and get it off the film strip And there's our film strip. And here is our sticker. See, it's, it sticks pretty good. That's parchment, so it's supposed to release from that. Put our sticker there. So, and if you can see, as the light catches it, you can see the kind of lumpiness right here that means that when this dries that's going to dry white because that is paper pulp right there and so when it dries and it's all white um you don't have to wait for it to dry i mean i can see that it's there when the light shines on it so i can go in and do it right now or i can wait till it dries and then just you know kind of be able to see where the spots are that i need to work on and sometimes you'll have to um do it the first time and then do it like a couple of times afterwards to get rid of all of it. And the thing is, you don't have to get rid of all of it. It just depends on how picky you are. So, um, but see now, make sure that's the, yep, this is the outside. So there was a lot of pulp right here. And now we've got it right there. There's a little bit right here and right here. So that is how you water everywhere. We'll put that one on there like that. And then here is our the one that we did with the three on it, which is also going to need some work um, on the paper. So I'll put that on here with this one. Let me put this one over here too. So there we go. That is our DIY clear faux washi tape, our DIY film strips, and our DIY stickers. All made pretty much the same way, just a little bit differently in the way that you cut them or the way that you might want to add a background or just adding the black marks for the film strip. So, and here we've got this one, my original one, which was in black and white and color. I was really happy with the way that turned out. I really like that. And that's now a sticker. So I can, And I can cut bits off of this. You don't have to use the whole thing. So there we go. We've got a horse sticker, and then we've got a set of three. So I hope that you enjoyed this project. I have a lot of fun um, playing with this project. And I had never really thought about doing it as... You know, I did the the film strip a long time ago um, in our series, in an old series. And, but doing that never, never even made me think about doing, doing it just like washi tape. So, um, yeah, I think that that's, that's pretty cool to do that. And I really do love the way, see how we've got the words going in all the different directions which is really quite fun. And then that really kind of highlights the other pictures. So there we go. 
thank you very much for stopping by. I hope that if you try this project, I hope you have as much fun as I have had because I really do like playing with this. And um, I really appreciate you stopping by. Give me a thumbs up if you feel like it. If you want to click the bell so that you get notifications of when I put up another video, just give that a click and you'll get an email. You don't have to watch them, but it just lets you know that there is one out there. So thanks again for stopping by. I really do appreciate you, and I hope that you all have an outstanding day. Bye-bye.